Hi, um, so what we're trying today is to have different kind of tags that actually splits and shows, um, so the tag should be split in half and show the number of the floor, let's say, and the door tag at the bottom. Now, as far as I know, um, maybe I need to check that further, but the standard uh, door marker, let's say in this case 24, does not have this option. I will check on that and if, if so I'll, I'll update it. But uh, what we can use is actually we can use the label tool instead. So the label tool we can uh, maybe use the property label here and in the property label uh, we activate frame and then in the custom settings, um, we, we assign two values. Uh, so we can have a separator. So you can see it here. Um, in this case, we don't need the leader uh, line. And uh, we will customize these in a second. Yeah? So for example, if we say on top, we need the floor number. And on the bottom, the ID. So it could be the element ID as it is. And then on top, so what we need to do is we need to create a property value that reads the floor plan. So I'll, I'll stop it here and uh, so I'll just keep it here for a second. And if we go to property manager and in property manager, let's say I'll create a new uh, property that we call it uh, floor and I'll, I'll add it, let's say to openings. And uh, in this, so I, I want to be an integer here. And uh, I want to map it to uh, the home story. So home story number in this case. So an integer home story number. And uh, I can assign it to openings. And so following classification. So let's say all openings. And let's click OK. Um, so now what I will do is I will just, for display options, I'll just uh, remove those tags. Uh, so, so just, just for this view, yeah? So we just take them off. And now going back to the label. So on the label, just go here. So if we wanted on top to have that property, so I'll just pick the property that I've just created. Uh, I think I listed it under openings. So openings, floor, and uh, what else? ID, maybe we just center them. Let's see, it should work now. Oh, here it is. Yeah, so, but it's massive. So I think we just need to adjust the settings. So, Let's go back to the settings here. Uh, let's say 10. And let's say at zero. Strike right now. Okay, so, so here it is. So for example, if I go now to the lower floor, oops, picked the wrong item, sorry. Is, that's the ground, which in, in my case is 1, 1, D0, 3, whatever. And uh, obviously you can change that, so if you want, I think we can even put a minus value here. Let's see. Can we have a minus 3, for example? No, it doesn't go with minus. Yeah, so I think you can need some adjustment in after you place them. But what I wanted to show you is that you can... Yeah, I think so. Unfortunately, this is still needs to be adjusted manually. I mean, the location of them and the size. But what you can do is you can assign it to all doors together. So I can select, let's say, all doors. And then just uh, use uh, under document, annotation, I believe, label selected elements. So that will place them on all of them. But I mean, obviously, in this case, you need to pay attention to the locations and so on. Um, so I hope this is what what you were um, trying to achieve and uh, let me know.